What's up, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? So we have to talk about Snap and what happened. And in this video, we're talking about just that and how Snapchat killed the stock market. Those dirty, dirty texts and pics that just go away. We always knew they were toxic, ruining relationships and stock markets. So we're talking about just that because uh, the CEO of Snapchat, uh, I appreciate you doing this, by the way, decided to, to, to give us a heads up. Hey, on this uh, on this next earnings call, by the way, it's it's, it's not going to be good. Like the literal point for earnings is to come out and say this is what we did, this is what our guidance is going forward, this is what he thought. Eh, let me just give everybody a heads up anyway. So if you wanted to play Snap, you can't. The move's already been made. If you were long, good thing you caught this right hook. Uh, you know, plenty of cool stuff. Uh, reading this, uh, you know, it is what it is. Um, you can read it. It's, it's all over. It's all over the news. But that's it. The snap plunges thirty percent after CEO warns company will miss revenue and earnings estimates with slow hiring. Sweet. So after that, it just sold off massively. You know what moves with Snapchat? Social media. Facebook just moved with it. Is it? Well, I guess it's Snap social media. What is Snap? Um, relationship ruiner, I guess. And my relationship with Facebook's getting pretty toxic right now at this point. Thank you, Snapchat. Another one in the books. Uh, which, that being said, we saw Google go down. Apparently, when Snap came out and said that, um, they just took the bullhorn, told the market, jump on in, the water's fine. And everybody, much like this market that we've been in for a while now, Saw the red candle, saw the excuse to sell, and they said, let's do that. Let's sell. I don't care what sector you're in. Tuck knee, cannonball. We're going for it. We saw a lot of things sell off. Uh, so tech, you know, when the futures open back up, just shot right down. Uh, after a good day, just giving up all of today. Uh, let's get to let's get to the futures real quick. Yeah, so here is today. So... Again, yesterday we had a green open, so we sold off. This was yesterday, Sunday. You know, today we, we pushed up, we closed. Futures open up, right back down, giving it all back up. Still kind of, let's, we bounced off of this. All we drew here was a support. That's all that is, is just, and eh, we kind of hadn't had a daily close below here. We've got below, buyer showed up. So the story's still kind of intact, but the one thing I, I got to say, or what, what I'm looking out for is I did swing uh, bullish. I was kind of thinking, as much as I warned against it, this whole oversold scenario, it's now or never. If we don't start bouncing, you know, again, I didn't mean to, to fear monger anything because I told you guys I'm, I'm in long positions. Uh, but if we don't get it in gear and get going, uh, you know, the bulls need to grab their little cojones and, and get going. They need to show up. And it seems like every time there's just a solid, just any kind of excuse, a bread come, breadcrumb for a bear over with bulls just scatter they get out of here uh so certainly watching that as, as far as the s&p goes this was the more annoying one because we had just gotten above that zone and that's the zone i was watching like, we got to get above this first we need to not reject and right now we're doing literally just that so hopefully that gives us a nice platform yeah we were starting here now we get to start from here we just got to cover that ground now uh so that being said, I wanted to just make this video kind of going over this, like what happened to the markets after that. It just seemed like Snap did that. I mean, it got posted in my chat. It was Facebook. We saw that red candle. Then we saw Snap. It was just three charts in a row from actually my admin uh, on this, on the Don Front show. Um, what, do you, what do you post? Pins? Pinterest, yeah. All of them couldn't leave Snap behind. It said, don't worry. You're not alone. We got you. Some of you guys called that a sympathy play because they all felt sad for that one and they held hands and they all sold together. It's not a sector play or anything like that. Sympathy because they felt horrible that Snapchat would be out there all alone. The one green day and here's Snap just redder than all get out. That couldn't happen. I want to see if it lined up with any zones. But... Uh, I don't really look... Like, actually, interesting. Pins, Pinterest couldn't even get above that. Tried to, faked out one more time. 
Again? Just kidding. Right back down. That went zone to zone. What are you playing on it? But uh, actually, I might buy Pinterest. Pinterest looks like an easy trade. Put your stop at 1785. Call it a day. <laughs> that looks horrible. Oh, wow. Anyway, what do you guys think about Snap? How annoyed are you that the CEO took it upon himself to just say, Hey, by the way, heads up. Thanks. That That's why we have those earnings calls. Could have just told me then. Could have been positioned accordingly. You know, it's not that Snap's huge like to play it, but... Just thinking about that, maybe think about Google. Google did this a while back. They got in big trouble, but they actually released their earnings during the day, sent things up. It made millionaires. But it's kind of annoying when we kind of have a system in place, and then you just run your little mouth. <laughs> Personally, it's the only thing I got out of this. When I, when I found out why, uh, you know, I'm thinking, like, did I miss an earnings? What's going on? Like, how did I miss something that big? What if I had a huge position in there? You can't, you can't afford to make mistakes like that. Come to find out, he just... Talking away. Appreciate it. All right, as far as zones go for Snap, um, I got to say, I'm probably going to be selling some puts. I like that sell-off. I like how juiced up it's going to be, especially in the morning. <laughs> that's not a zone. That's just my the background of this. What are we, we're at 15 bucks? I actually wouldn't mind owning all of it down here. Snapchat's the one I used to own quite a bit of. Uh, because I, I did like selling contracts against it. Um, let's pull up the options chain. Since the options chain wants to just completely get annihilated. I'm expecting $1.92. When was earnings? We'll have to see when this updates in the morning. So when you sell a cash-secured put, it will lock up the capital for 100 shares. You will collect the money for that put that you just sold. Uh, and if it goes below, you will own 100 shares at that strike price. But if it actually stays that or above, you just got to keep the gambler's money. Uh oh let's get out of here. So other than that, tomorrow that's the play I'll be looking at. Once it's sold off like that and the panic is in... Uh, everybody thinks it's going to zero. What I'll end up trying to do is, uh, I don't think the 10s will be worth it, but I might sell some $12 puts on this. Actually, wouldn't mind owning it there. So, I'll wrap it up here. <laughs> what do you guys think? That's what killed the market. I've seen a lot of people say, what happened to the markets after hours? What's going on? And it does seem just this, this snap reaction just kind of brought that sector down. You already know tech is just timid as can be right now. The markets aren't exactly showing off strength or confidence to any bull side. Uh, we had hardly a green day today. <laughs> gave it all back up at the end so i want to make a quick video for you guys i'll wrap it up here uh but i'm interested, interested to hear from you guys in the in the comments down below what do you guys think did you happen to be short this by chance was this just like did this just make your day uh i kind of want to hear about it and uh, again i don't i don't push it a lot but i do want to start mentioning it um there is i do have a course down below like all the youtubers uh but it does come with my mentorship that is where we go live every night uh, i'm going to try to push out more more content uh, but that is where I go live. A little more detail, futures every night, uh, plus additional tickers that you guys call out. Uh, but that is if you buy the, the trading suite down below. Uh, anyway, first link. I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow live for uh, the recap of whatever this is and the continuation of Sunday's conversation. So make, your sh make sure you subscribe, hit that bell button, and I will see you in the next video.